curved surface area, total surface area and volume of a hemisphere. In this video, we will learn about three important formula related to the hemisphere. A hemisphere is a three-dimensional shape like this. So basically, if we cut a sphere right in the middle, we will get two hemispheres like this. Just like a sphere, a hemisphere is also defined by only one thing and that is its radius. What will be the curved surface area of a hemisphere? Let us suppose we have a sphere of radius r. If we split the sphere into two hemispheres, then the surface area of the sphere will be equal to the combined curved surface area of the hemisphere. This means that the curved surface area of a hemisphere is half of the surface area of a sphere. As we already know that the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, so the curved surface area of a hemisphere will be half into 4 pi r squared, which is equal to 2 pi r squared. This is the curved surface area of a hemisphere. What will be the total surface area of a hemisphere? It is the combined area of both flat and curved surface of the hemisphere. A hemisphere has two surfaces, flat surface and curved surface. The area of flat surface of a hemisphere of radius r is same as the area of a circle of a radius r, that is pi r square. And we have already discussed that the curved surface area of a hemisphere is 2 pi r square. Combining these two areas, we will get the total surface area of a hemisphere as pi r square plus 2 pi r square, which can be simplified as 3 pi r square. So this is the total surface area of a hemisphere. What will be the volume of a hemisphere? As we know, a hemisphere is just half of a sphere. So its volume will also be half of the volume of a sphere of the same radius. So if we have a sphere and hemisphere of radius r, then the volume of the sphere will be 4 upon 3 pi r cube. Since the volume of a hemisphere is half of the volume of a sphere, so it will be half into 4 upon 3 pi r cube, which can be simplified as 2 upon 3 pi r cube. This is the volume of a hemisphere.